guys, what is going on? It is Ryan here from the Ants America Ant Channel. And today here we have just like a styrofoam uh, box here. It's got a little lid. Now let me slide this off. This is where I'm keeping um, the queens from the video that I recorded about two weeks ago. It was the how to catch queen ants and we caught a ton of queens. So we have the four queens that we caught in here. And then there's a, a surprise queen in here that one of my... Uh, actually our manager um, scout in the discord server by the way if you're not in the discord yet please link in the description go check it out he's the manager of the ants america ant channel and he actually caught this queen so i'll show you guys the surprise queen and then we'll move on to the rest so i have this red sort of filament on it just to keep the ants in the darkness at all times but we can still see them pretty clearly i'm gonna try and get us some good angles and some good pictures hopefully without having to disturb them I don't think we're gonna see any. The red film makes it basically impossible to see with the camera. I can see it like with a naked eye, but the camera's not gonna pick it up. I can at least show you the new queen really quick. So right here is a Campanatus Kestin, I can never say it. Castanasis Castinia, I never can say it. You guys know what I'm talking about. Okay guys, so we have our brand new queen here. Um, for a quick size comparison to the other queens, that's what the Laceus Americanus looks like. That's what it looks like. That's the same test tube as the one I'm about to show you. That little dot, it's compared to that. So yeah, Campanatus castaneus. Massive, massive, massive size. Beautiful queen. Absolutely beautiful. And you can see, hold up, eggs. She's laying eggs. Amazing. I've had her for about four or five days now. And already seeing eggs is a great sign. Campanas queens lay eggs in batches. My manager, Zach, said he caught this queen um, while she was walking across his driveway. So that means she just landed from her flight. And Campanas castaneus are doing flights right now. So amazing find right here. You can also see this is actually a perfect picture to explain how to identify a queen. So we got a couple extra minutes so I can explain it really quick. Um, one big difference is you can see the plateaued back. They have a very flat back, the midsection, if you will. And then also on the side, you see some wings carring. Those are the two big things to look at when identifying a queen. Last thing is the giant gaster, which is swollen with eggs. And you can just obviously tell that this is a queen. Besides the fact that there's, you know, eggs on the floor right there. Beautiful queen right there. Just absolutely beautiful. Love this queen right here. Very happy that we got her. So hopefully she goes well. In two months, we should be expecting our first line of workers if she goes okay. So that's the new queen. It's a very beautiful queen. We're gonna go ahead and pull out one of the queens of the four that we caught in the video two weeks ago and go ahead and take a look at how they're doing. All right, here we are. So in the last video, um, we did label these as Laceus uh, neglectus. I actually was wrong. I contacted some people. These are in fact Laceus americanus. 100% um, positive on that. So as you can see, there are a bunch of eggs. The queen is definitely hiding them very well. We're trying to get... Oh, here we go. She's stepping away. We can probably get a good view. There is some larva in there. That's good to know. Some eggs have hatched in a larva. And beautiful queen there. All of the uh, other four queens all have around the same amount of eggs and larva. So they're all doing really, really well. Um, the queen is pretty disturbed right now with the light. I just wanted to give you guys a pretty good view. So we can see what's going on in the ant world. Um, it's really satisfying catching a queen from the beginning and raising up a colony just from just from her. You get to see the eggs, first larva. This is awesome. This is actually really cool, guys. So you can see a big pile of eggs. Um, definitely can see some larva in there, which is really cool. Uh, that means that she's doing good. She's been in this test tube for about two to three weeks. Um, hopefully soon we're going to get some pupae and some workers. Uh, in two weeks, I'm expected to see workers, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully they stay on track and keep working, but I'm going to put her back in the darkness and make sure she's okay. But basically, I just wanted to update everybody on um, the four queens that we caught in that one video, just to let you guys know how they're doing, and um, just make sure that once you catch your queens, you instantly put them in a test tube setup. Cotton is pushed down to the water to allow the queen to drink at the end of it, and then you put the top off with another piece of cotton, which allows air to filter in so she can breathe. There's your test tube set up and it's proven to work right here. Alrighty guys, I just want to thank you again for uh, watching this video here. 
Um, it's just a quick update video on the queens that I currently have. I'm also going to do an update video on the super colony and we're going to show you guys how they're going and hopefully they're doing pretty good. I might end up making a formicarium for them to move into. Once again, I'm going to say please join the Discord if you're not already in it so we can talk about ant stuff and you can also participate in some community events that we have that go on in there. So thanks again for watching this video. Please leave a comment. If you're not already, subscribe. Hit the bell icon so you get notified. And yeah, thanks for watching. Have a good one.